All right, so NASCAR fans are sad. It's, it's T. Stewart's last year in, in a cup car, but I can tell you this, open wheel fans are pretty fired up because on Monday you made an announcement that I'm not quitting racing just because I'm quitting NASCAR. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not sure I uh, didn't open up a can of worms, but because we didn't, we haven't really told anybody what we're doing. But uh, yeah, when we get done running the Cup car, we're gonna get back and run some dirt races again. Now, Stu, will it be wing sprint cars? Will it be some USAC stuff? Will it be late models? Will it be midgets like a Chili Bowl, Turkey Night? Have you thought that far ahead? Well, for sure, I'm going to run my wing sprint car, and uh, I've got a dirt modified that I w wouldn't mind running a couple races, and. Uh, I'm sure at some point uh, Mark Richards and I will get back together and run a dirt late model here and there. So uh, we haven't haven't really made concrete plans yet, but um, we just know that the the good thing is that I'm going to have more time to go do what I want to do now. I see. I think the thing the people that see it in your element here, this is I mean this is like your home, brother. This is where you belong. This is this is dirt racing. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm I've been here till I think last night was the. The earliest we've got out of here, and it was 1:30 when we got done last night. So uh, I have a blast here. I mean, Emmett and Lanny uh, and their families—they they do such an awesome job here, and this is such a huge event. It's it's not just a race; it's a huge event that is surrounded by a race. So uh, you know, that's that's what's fun about it. You you know, this is the one place that all your buddies from the West Coast, all your buddies from the Northeast, from the Southeast. Everybody comes here for one week, and we all get to hang out together. So, um, you know, it's it's the place to be in January. I mean, there is no other place. It's also become one of the, uh, probably one of the three best races. You said something the other day in your press conference I was reading about. You said, believe me, winning the Chili Bowl was a hard, it was harder than winning the IndyCar Championship, which I don't think people understand, 334 cars. Yeah, they think, sometimes I think they forget that, they, if they think it's bigger, that it's better, and that it's harder because it's bigger. Uh, when you when you got a race against 340 cars here, and you're trying to make a 24 car starting field, I mean, you're you got to make the top eight percent to to be in the show. So, um, and you got to have a lot of things go right. I mean, you basically it's not that you. I think uh, I think Kyle Larson said it best. You don't have to have luck here, but you can't have bad luck. Right. So um, you know you can make your luck, but you, you can't. The things that are under your control and the things that can happen or what could make your weekend a long weekend. I get ten emails a week from people. Hey, you think now Stewart's going to quit NASCAR? He'll be back running the Indy 500. And you told me four or five years ago, brother, I'm not going to show up and run once a year. What about T. Stewart, the car owner at Indy someday? I, I think I got enough cars and you know between Eldora Speedway, the All-Star Circuit of Champions, um, Donnie Shots on the World of Outlaw side and uh, four cup teams, a uh, modified team, two TQ midgets. <laughs> I think we got enough race cars right now. I don't know that I So Indy's not them. pulling at you. It's not like you got to do it. No, it's it's there's still a magnetic pull there, but I just don't know where I'm going to fit into that equation. So um, you know, I, I, that's still a blank spot on the top of my to-do list, and I wish I wish I was uh, about 40 pounds lighter and about 15, 20 years younger, uh, and go back and really, you know, to the, the great thing about Indy is it's so competitive now. You can't just come in in the month of May and expect to, to outrun the guys that are running the series right. full time. So it's a, you know, it's a compliment to that series. It's really come a long way. Anything on your bucket list, open wheel that you haven't done that you want to do? I still want to win the Belleville Midget Nationals. Um, I still want to run the Little 500 at some yeah. point. So, uh, yeah, there's. I, I would say during the course of the year, as we go through the season, I'm going to keep making notes of things that I want to do uh, after the year's over next year. Well, just remember this: compared to Kinzer and Swindell, you're still a kid. You're only 44. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to gain weight like Kinzer is too. So, uh, that, that, that's the good thing is I, I like racing with Steve because when I show up there, I don't feel like I'm that overweight after all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we, we wish you all luck in the 2016 stock car season, but we're glad you're coming back home, dirt racing after it's all over. Rob Miller for Racer.com. Thanks for watching.